Hello, in this episode, uh, we'll go through our natural language processing project, um, the stock market prediction with daily news headlines. Okay. So first we'll import libraries and the natural language processing toolkit. Uh, so, and since we're just using some of them, the popular download is probably um, good enough for us. And to load the Kaggle data that we explored in the previous episode, which is here. Okay. It's a large data, so it takes about 10, 20 seconds to um, upload. Okay, and now in the data frame, um, so let's first show how to aggregate top and headlines into single column. So um, let's first see DF2, let's say call this a 012, what are they? It's a date label. Um, the first two ones are table. Um, I want to create um, top um, five, let's say five headlines. So, five headlines into a single column, um, DF top one, DF top two, and, and all this added with a space here each that will create me a top N named headline. And if I just want to plot it, it basically consolidated all the headlines, um, top five headlines into single um, text. Let's split the data into train and test data. Um, somewhere around 10, 2014, I want to cut the data. Um, so 2014, um, so here's 2014. So given that there's one row for Excel sheets, so it's actually 1611 is the row number here. So 1611 up to that is train data, afterwards is test data. Combine the headlines. Um, so again, I'm gonna just um, join the text uh, here, combine all this into a single uh, list. So I can print that here. Um, so that, that shows how to merge it. Um, I can also uh, combine all top one to 25 headlines. Um, I'm not gonna use it here, but um, you can also do the same thing, um, except um, uh, doing here like, like this, okay? Anyway, so let's clean up the text. So we'll um, use the stop words function and string functions here. So split. And um, here the punctuation, so we'll just um, remove the punctuations from each um, token. The token are the vocabularies that we split, convert to lowercase, and remove the remaining. And here are the stop words, which we want to get rid of. And uh, the, the word that's um, on the short, um, will also get removed. Um, we can use the portal stemmer to stem the words. Okay, so, so these are sort of the standard things I want to do, um, just to show you. Uh, let's define a vocabulary. So there's a counter function, a basically counter, counter for the vocabularies um, in terms of um, in the tokens, and it accumulates. Um, is the uh, most common one. So it counts the words and the nice feature of this is that once you've done this vocab and have it, the most common 10, you can just use it like this, right? Um, and uh, keep tokens with minimum occurrence of two. So these are like no problem, 400 times up here. So they are probably very frequently appearing, but the word that appeared only once, maybe not that useful, chop these, how many are left? 5,792 are left, okay? so. And then you can save it on the computer, um, the vocabulary list. Yeah, so here you get to see all the 5,792 vocabularies. 
So let's go through the back of order presentation. So when there's a text, like this Excel sheet that carries um, headlines, uh, we want to convert it to the fixed number of numeric vectors, isn't it? So here is take a document, clean the document, meaning it split the words, remove punctuations, and do all the things up to Porto Stemma. So here's a function for that. The doctor line um, cleans and returns the lines of tokens for it. Isn't it? So it basically um, calls the clean doc to do this task and then filter the vocabularies, whether it's in the vocabulary list or not, and only keep those as token for the document. And then here is a process document, the function that walks through all the headlines and convert it into lines. Okay. Top is the nth headline. Um, here we use a consolidated top five headline. So there's just one column we use. Um, and market is the market movement, which is zero or down. Um, it was in the Excel file, isn't it? Uh, the Excel file, we had this label, which is the, I call it market. It's zero if the market went down, one if it, the Dow Jones went up. So here is that function. So basically we do the process doc for the train and test data and then come up with these um, document text uh, and market train test and, and all this. And so you can see for train data, for example, there are 1611 um, of these documents and the uh, uh, first line looks like this. It's all cleaned up. So now um, create a vector, it's called tokenizer. So we create a tokenizer and um, clean the text. And we use the train data to create a tokenizer and use that tokenizer to parse and create the X and Y, I mean, train and test data of the input. We will use the binary indicator for whether the word is present or not in the document, um, rather than count the number alternatively or term frequencies or the other things that we do. And the Y variable is whether the stock market went up or down which is the market variable. So now we have done the hard part. Basically, we converted the text information into numbers of vectors, isn't it? Now we can feed that vector into a neural network. Eventually, it takes that input, the long list of words, and then train it. Like here's a hidden layer of 100 node, 20 node, and then eventually one node of zero and one, whether the stock market went up or down. So it's a sigmoid function because it's zero, one. We use the binary cross entropy function with Adam optimizer. So for example, the shape here looks like they're 9,902. Um, and um, here's the neural network, how it looks like. Okay. And now we are going to fit um, the network. It takes a while, so let me just come back when it's done. Okay, it's done training the network. So now we can use the network to predict, make predictions. So here's a function that does that. Um, we take the headline news, the sample headline news with a vocabulary list and the train to voc um, tokenize and model. Um, so the news gets cleaned up into tokens um, and filter in the vocabulary list uh, and um, basically encode it, meaning um, we can code it in the binary mode of tokenizer so that encoded information gets into the model and predict a Y hat, zero or one, whether the stock market went down or up. And the percentage of it, um, it is Y hat. Um, this is the probability of up, isn't it? So um, if the one minus of that is um, um, the percentage of bear, let's see. So if it's small, then we call it bear. If it's large, close to one, it's called wood. Okay, so this is what we do. So for example, for um, positive news headlines, something like positive earnings surprise give hope for market rally. That sounds like um, good news. And it gives a 73% uh, chance of being a bull news. I guess our neural network does recognize it as a good news. Now, um, let's have a terrible news. Disappointing earnings shed gloomy outlook for the near future. Um, so if we run that, it gives a 93% chance of being a bear market, okay? And then the stock market drops. Okay. So this is sort of how to use uh, the text and news headlines to predict stock market. 
and thank you for watching this episode.